happy monday guys i have a special friend today do, do, who is it <gasps> pickles how are you today did you miss everybody what did you can't hear you <gasps> he did he's so happy to see you guys too well pickles and i are celebrating with um aw jones pre-k they're doing superheroes celebrating superheroes or everyday heroes so here's our little well my little headband and we're also going to be talking about lines oh here's our other friends we're gonna be talking about lines this week so i wore my spider dress so let's get ready to learn about different kinds of lines and ready to say bye to them pickles bye let's make art all right, we're going to talk about lines today. So these are different kinds of lines that you can draw. If you remember, this is the anchor chart that's right by our word wall. But we have different kinds of lines. We have straight lines. So actually, when I go through the lines, I want you guys to draw them in the air for me. So let's draw a straight line. And straight lines can be horizontal, vertical, diagonal. We'll, we'll find out more lines right here too. And a wavy line. You can have a dotted line. My favorite zigzag lines. You can have dashes. It's kind of like a dotted line. Loops, swirls, scalloped, diagonal, and vertical. But there are other kinds of lines too that I haven't mentioned. Do you guys know any other kind of lines? I want you to close your eyes and think about your favorite line. Which one of these would be your favorite line? So now I want you to draw your favorite line in the air or on paper. And now let's talk about where could we find some lines. We can find lines in a rainbow. These are some curvy lines. We can find them in the clouds, some scalloped or wavy lines. We can find some curved lines and crosshatch lines and an ice cream cone. Here's a curve in the ice cream scoop. What about lines in your hair? What kind of lines is your hair? You can find lines on the face as well. And your clothes, your clothes are full of lines too. Like mine today, I'm wearing a dress and it is spider lines. But see the, ooh, I see zigzag lines and there's some curvy lines, diagonal lines, lines that are crossing into each other. And we have maybe a house can have lines too, the bricks the doorways, the windows. You can find lines in nature. The wind, the patterns in the stems and the leaves and in the flower petals. And look, my tablecloth is lines. All right, so we are going to do our line project now. You can use any materials that you have. You're going to need your hand or whichever hand you want to choose, or you can draw somebody else's hand. But I am going to now do my project and can't wait to see yours. You're going to start with tracing your hand and I want you to divide your hand using five lines. So draw your five lines, then you're going to decide which lines you like. And each different section that you cut off is going to be a different line. And what I did was I pressed really, really hard. Remember we talked about pressure, pressing really uh, heavy or really light. And then I colored in very lightly. So I have different kind of lines in each of my sections in my hand. But yeah, choose your favorite lines or maybe ask someone that you're with what's their favorite line if you get stuck and use that line. For your background, let's keep it simple and only choose one kind of line for your background. And you can also color different line, different colors. I'm gonna use um, two different colors and make an AB pattern. But fill up your page. You can also outline your hand so that your hand stands out a little more and there's contrast. And this week will be all about lines. Remember to look at the Aldean webpage to check out the art contest and tag it hashtag Aldean Art. So I cannot wait to see your work. Don't forget to tag me either. And so, ah, oh, Pickles, stop interrupting. Pickles and I are saying bye and we miss you guys. Can't wait to see your work.